In this video, I am just going to explain the major differences between the IFRS and GAAP. So IFRS is International Financial Reporting Standards and GAAP means Generally Accepted Accounting Principle. So I will be going to cover these two aspects with the meaning of these associated boards. That IASB means International Accounting Standard Board and FASB means Financial Account Accounting Standard Board. And which one is used by most of the countries will also be discussed. At the end, I'll see that what is the main benefit of this and how that are different from each other. So first of all, that we should know what is the goal and purpose of accounting. So goal of accounting is to provide useful information to outsiders for decision making. For information to be useful, it must be relevant means that we should have a future predictions on the basis of the data that we have and the trustworthy. So trustworthy means that it, the information should be complete, neutral and free from any error. So the accounting professions has created excellent framework and set some principle to ensure accounting is valuable and replied on at the time of making important decisions. To fulfill this goal, some accounting standard board set some rules and principles. So accounting standard boards are broadly divided into two parts. The first board is the IASB, which is known as International Accounting Standard Board. In the International Accounting Standard Board, one another the principles and standards are prepared so those standards are known as international financial reporting standard ifrs on the other side another board is there that is known as financial accounting standard board and the financial accounting standard board created gap which is generally accepted accounting principles so if we talk about FASP, the Financial Accounting Standard Board, is an independent non-profit organization founded in 1973 and prepared GAAP, that is Generally Accepted Accounting Principles, which are set of some procedures, rules, some guidelines used by different different companies to prepare their financial statements and other accountant disclosure specifically in USA. So the gap is mostly used in US and another board is there which is known as IASB International Accounting Standard Board. So the International Accounting Standard Boards were founded on April 1st 2001 as the successor to the International Accounting Standard Committee in 1973 in London. It is responsible for developing international financial reporting standard and for promoting their use and applications. So what is the main difference between two? So difference is that IASB board sets IFRS means how particular type of transactions should be reported in the financial statements. If we talk about the financial statements, profit and loss count, balance sheet, cash flow statement, statement of change in financial position means equity, right? So these are the major accounting uh, financial statements up there. IFRS is used worldwide. This is the main concern. And on the other side, if we talk about the gap, so gap is used in the USA. So this is US base. And Financial Accounting Standard Board prepared GAAP. So based on the principles, if we talk about like IASB, this is totally based upon the principle based approach. But on the other side, the GAAP, it is based upon the rules and legal authority. More high level and flexible if we talk about uh, IASB board and uh, their standards but in this case this is more in detail 
in case of uh, ifrs it requires few disclosure but in this case it require more disclosures so disclosure mean some of the information which is very very important and can be material for the decision maker should be displayed should be disclosed dis uh, disclosed in the financial statement or make maybe under the note or special note should be provided so that the investor or outsider parties should be able to take some decision on the basis of that information as well so the canada canada accounting standard board is also there in canada and which use ifrs so which one is used by most of the countries ifrs or gap to improve the capability of accounting information the accounting international accounting standard board was made and set common standards which are known as ifrs more than 110 countries adopted ifrs excluding us so what i mean to say that ifrs international financial reporting standards are mostly used by most of the countries or majority of the countries so which accounting standard is used by canada if we talk about for simplification accounting standard board in canada used a set of made in canada standard which is known as aspe accounting standard for private entrepreneurs so this is used in canada most canadian companies use aspe or ifrs for financial statement so aspe is for the private entrepreneurs and ifrs is for the public companies so private companies and public companies are there public companies are there which is like listed on the stock exchange they have to use ifrs but aspe that are the private companies which is not yet listed in the stock exchange can use aspe but if they want to use aspe or ifrs is upon them no doubt ifrs have more complicated as compared to aspe so the private organization or small organization definitely they will use aspe private entrepreneur can use asp or ifrs but the public companies need to meet ifrs requirements now at the end uh, we can say that some countries have their own gap for example uk us india and others but in recent year what happened financial accounting standard board and international accounting standard board both right so they they have they are working together to establish the compatible standards worldwide 